Hello everyone and today we are going to be covering the top 5 wonder kid midfielders to sign in Football Manager 2021 but we're going to look at them 5 years from now. Obviously as a bit of a disclaimer some of the wonder kids such as Eduardo Camavingo the obvious ones that we all know about is going to be excluded from that list so we got a bunch of those obviously Kamavinga being one of them as you can see is amazing still at the age of 22 Kai Havertz being the other one etc etc you, you get the gist by now and for those of you joining in I, I really appreciate all the support in the channel guys um, leave your th some thoughts in the comments below let me know any sort of midfielders that I have potentially missed out do let me know and if you are feeling very very generous considering smashing the like button with that further ado let's get started first up in the list is a defensive minded midfielder Manuel Ugarte one of the best wonder kids in the midfield positions that you can sign in FM21 as you can see 32 caps for Uruguay already a solid international player already at the age of 24 some of the standout stats apart from the physical side obviously is his mental attributes I think he's he can go really far he's got leadership at 15 determination at 15 60 15 at concentration decisions 16 in anticipation vision as well and 15 passing as well as and 15 as well so definitely someone who can play in the deep lying playmaker position clearly obviously if you're not turning him into a proper cdm tackling does need a bit of a work but in the in the in the way that the game is going nowadays i think this is very very good as you can see in my save he is at psg historically you can snap him up for very cheap so this is actually one of the best cheap wonder kids that you can sign in fm21 as you can see boca jr snapped him up from phoenix at the start of the game for a measly 1.4 million pound and as he moved across the seasons psg signed him up for 5 million pound and he has been in the starting lineup on the psg side ever since and as you can see he can only get better at only 20 or Manuel Ugarte. Next up on the list, it is Nicolo Rovello. As you guys know, I stream a lot of Football Manager 2021. Catch me on Twitch at Draco986, and he is one of the players. One of my first players actually I've signed, as you can see, he's more of a defensive midfielder compared to Ugarte with his tackling at 14. And he can he can basically do a deep lying playmaker position as well. Nothing stand out in terms of his attributes wise, but his physical stats in terms of his stamina is pretty, pretty good. In terms of where he's at, he's got 27 caps at the Italian under 20 one international and he plays for arsenal in my save still 23 mind you in his career as as you can see he is also one of the cheap wonder kids that you can sign in fact one of the best cheap wonder kids out there arsenal snapped him up for 1.4 which is roughly about right that's what i did and played a couple of seasons in arsenal well was in the squad for arsenal a couple of seasons before being loaned out he still hasn't featured for arsenal that much but he's only 23 he can only get better and i feel that if he played a lot more games his stats will be so much better because if you look across the season he on loan he only played 16 games but in the time that arsenal signed him up one two three four five seasons he's only played three games for arsenal i feel he's the type of player that yes he's going to be fantastic in the future but also he needs game time also nicolo ravello now now we come to a bit of an attacking minded midfielders in my top five midfielders in football manager won the kids five years on it is gavi not javi but gavi from barcelona he is dubbed as a wonder kid still in five years on he's still <laughs> still 20 he starts off as a 15 year old in the game but look at that at the age of 20 he's got some fantastic stats physically he's he's, a, he's an absolute monster already in terms of his agility balance stamina natural fitness you know what ronaldo was like when he was at his age in terms of his physical attributes in terms of his mental and technical attributes apart from flair nothing really sticks out at the moment yes he's got great technique and passing already at 15 but I feel that he can definitely get better he is potentially a pure central midfielder at or advanced playmaker position that can play in central midfield as you can see he is contracted to Barcelona he is from the Barcelona youth team Leipzig did loan have him on loan he played 13 games for Leipzig 
uh, from Barcelona B. And but looking at some of the stats in Barcelona B, you can see I don't know why he didn't play any games there. Maybe a massive injury, but you can see he played 38 times in the Barcelona B team. 16 goals, 14 assists. The next time he played 13 times, he played three goals, three assists. These are fantastic stats for a 20 year old and you know he's only 15 in the game guys valued at 5.75 million pound i assume that you're gonna have to pay a bit more than that to prize him away from barcelona gavi another attack minded midfielder in the game he's 25 years of age vitor ferreira for fc porto you can see his mental stats are already in stay insane some of the stellar stats are vision at 16 teamwork decisions determination composure he seems like a resolute midfielder someone who can play the mezala position or even an advanced playmaker position if you can kind of do a bit around his passing maybe and technique and first touch is already good as is his physical are not too bad either with his agility and balance being an excellent um sort of attributes to have if you can build on his dribbling as well in terms of historically he's been at fc porto for for every season he's been at loan to wolves in which he's played 21 times scoring three goals but as you can see throughout the seasons he's played more and more games for fc porto he's starting to appear in in the first team a lot more as the years go by yes he hasn't earned any caps which is quite surprising given the fact that he's a decent signing he's valued at the more higher end as you can see i assume you're gonna have to pay cough up around 20 30 million pound to prize him away but vito ferreira is also a solid buy for someone some of the clubs out there with a mid-level budget and last but not least yes yes we know a lot about him but he's got a very substantial upgrade in fm21 it is one of the best central midfielders to sign wonder kid wise it is ryan gravenberch from ajax who has moved to olympic leonese in my say but we'll get to that as you can see some of the stellar stats dribbling at 16 15 at first touch at 16 passing at 16 technique at 16 decisions at 16 flair at 16 you know his physical stats pace jumping rich agility jumping rich he's quite he's, he's, that's pretty decent maybe he's a threat from corners as well but you can see that he is a perfect perfect sort of advanced playmaker player and he he can play in a lot of positions obviously cdm cm attacking midfield position and even on the left side of the wing but ryan gravenberch someone that is known you can say but substantially i thought i thought you know i'll add him in because substantial you know he, he's got a basically a substantial um upgrade from fm20 before we go away an honorable mention to the one and only for all of you fm20 well football manager veteran sandro tonali you guys will know about that what a player he turns out to be he's an already an elite midfielder and some of his stats is amazing he can he is basically the perfect cdm midfielder like a deep line playmaker uh midfielder reminds me a lot of pierlo obviously he's italy at 24 caps he's contracted to liverpool valued at over 70 million pound but you can see that lazio signing for 13 million pound and his value just goes up and up liverpool just signed him in my save for 82 million pound so if you've got the money just go and go and sign him and and that's pretty much it about this video this was my top five wonder kids in central midfield position some of the cheapest midfielders best players that you can sign in fm 21 do let me know in the comments below wh who's your favorite player in this top five list in not necessarily in any order i can say but also if i have missed anyone do let me know as well in the comments below and as always guys stay subscribed if you can i'll be bringing in more videos around football manager 20 as we 2021 as we go along the save and as always have a fantastic day